Steve Flynn is hanging out in Summit County, ready to share some awesome details with us. So let's go ahead and toss it on over to him. Thanks for joining us, Steve. What you got? Thank you, Brittany, and good morning. It's a great day here in Summit County, and we have a lot going on up here in the mountains. The Summit High School boys hockey team was on a roll. Despite entering the state hockey tournament playoffs as the number 10 seed, the last team in the tournament, they continued to upset teams like number seven, Colorado Academy, and then besting number two, Steamboat Springs High School, in a double overtime win. They beat number three, Liberty High School, in the semifinals to move on to state. Unfortunately, their Cinderella story had to come to an honorable end Tuesday night at Denver University's Magnus Arena. In a well-fought match, Summit fell 4-2 against Durango High School. Congratulations, Tigers, on a great season and an incredible playoff run. This weekend, Copper Mountain hosts Dew Tour in its 20th year. Come check out the best of snowboarding and free skiing in competition and culture and lots of high-flying action just paces away from Center Village. Catch the event in person March 8th through March 10th or watch the event the following week right here on Mountain TV. To celebrate International Women's Month, come check out the Lecky Hot Laps at Copper Mountain on Thursday, March 14th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for a women's park meetup. Lecky is a women and rider-driven collective focused on supplying community support and space. Meet at the Lecky Tent near Woodward Express Chairlift in West Village from 10 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. Keystone Town Council has landed on four finalists for a permanent town manager position for the council members hope to fill by mid-April. All four have a background in local government and three currently serve as leaders in municipalities across Colorado. The four finalists are John Crone, Robert Evans, Ashley McDonalds, and James Mann. After a meet and greet on Wednesday the 6th, the finalists were interviewed on Thursday. The council will consider the finalists over the coming weekend, and during the next regular council meeting on March 12th, the council will enter a closed-door executive session to consider negotiation of the contract before making a public announcement about who they've selected to be the next town manager. And while there's plenty of snow still to come this season, look forward to the next one. Epic passes are now on sale for the 2024-25 season at the lowest price of the year for a limited time. That's some of the action in Summit County. Brittany, are you coming up for due tour? I was just gonna ask you the same thing. I will be up that way. <laughs> Am I gonna run into you? Uh, you very well might. I'd be at Center Village. I, it's an event I like to check out every year. Yes, well, I will meet you there, Steve. Thanks so much.